Hello world and welcome to another video. In this we'll uh, try to count the number of uppercase letters and lowercase letters. So just go to task and have a new file. This is I think the 11 task. So we'll name it as 11 underscore u underscore l that is upper lowercase dot py. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just define a function which will like just take upper lower and inside it it will just take a string. So let's name that as string one. Okay. And what we have to do is now we'll just call this function over here. Let's say print or just call this function called as upper lower. And in this we'll pass, let's say pass skills. So here I have two uppercase letters and remaining as lowercase letters. So what we'll do is we'll just apply a small loop, but before that initial values will be, so let's say case and we'll store it in a dictionary, the uppercase and lowercase values. So upper and okay, upper. So initial values are zero and lower. So again, this initial value is zero. So this is called a dictionary. If you don't know how it works, you can just check the dictionary video. Okay. And now we'll just apply a for loop uh, so that we can iterate through each and every letter. So we'll just say for letter in string one. So for letter in string one, if now it is very easy because it is Python. So you have to just see or just check whether that letter is upper. So you can just write is upper if letter is upper. So if this condition is true, what we'll do is we'll just take this upper case and we'll add one to it. So we'll just say case and index it with upper. So this is how we have learned in dictionary. So we'll just do case dot upper case upper plus one. Okay. So this is how we'll be doing it. Initial value is zero. So it will iterate through each and every letter. So the first letter of string one is S as it is uppercase letter. So it will just add zero. This entire value is zero right now initially plus one. So zero plus one is one. So this entire thing will become one. Similarly, what I can do is I can write it for lower. So I can just copy this and paste. Now what we'll do is we just want to change this UPP. Okay. So I'll just click here. Uh, I'll just show you a shortcut. Press alt. So it will make multiple cursors. Okay. Eight, two, three, and we can just write lower. Okay. Excellent. Now it will check for both if it is upper or if it is lower. And then what we have to do is we have to just print those out. So print first is original string. So we'll just do original and original string is string one. And then we'll do print upper. So we'll just say upper. How many upper now? Okay. Okay. We can just go it over here and we can just write. We have to just fetch this value out, right? So this one and similarly we have to, okay, I'll just copy this copy and just paste again. We have to just change this thing. So I'll just press alt. It will create multiple cursors for me and lower. Okay. So we already called the function over here. So let's save this right click over here and say open in terminal. So new terminal will open and excellent. We have to just write pi or python 11 tab key. Okay. So it says the original string is this, the uppercase letters are two excellent and the lowercase letters is this. Okay. So let's see one more. So if I write cafe, we'll just see whether it takes the space or not. So totally there are 10 and if we include the space, then that is 11. Okay. Now let's save this. So it does not count the space. So that's a good sign. So we'll have three uppercase letters and seven lowercase letters. So that's it for this video. This was a short one. Try to write your own functions and try to do some more questions. Uh, if you like the video comment in like do comment in the comment section below and like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.